Emotional affairs. What is an emotional affair? Often an emotional affair is called chaste infidelity. Because what's happening is you're starting a lovely emotional relationship with a person with, of the opposite sex where you're sharing your dreams and you're telling each other little secrets about your relationship. Maybe you're complaining to each other or maybe you're discovering new things about each other and with each other. And suddenly you're starting to think of this person a lot. Even maybe when you're at home with your partner, you're kind of bored with your partner and they're seeming so fantastic. And what's happening is you're creating a romantic liaison without sex with another person. And the problem is you're taking all that energy that if you only gave it to your partner in the same intensity could make your relationship grow and you're giving it to someone else and in a way contributing to the sinking of your relationship. Is having an emotional affair really cheating? Does it involve deception, intimacy, and chemistry? Because those are the three signs that you're having an affair. So deception, this interaction that you're having with this person, uh, are you going home and telling your partner about it? Are you sharing what you've shared? Is your partner invited along? If not, if the opposite's happening, you're meeting and you're not telling your partner and you're spending more and more time together and you're saying you're somewhere else, you're engaging in deception. Okay, what about the intimacy? Are you telling each other more and more and more about yourself? Are you finding out about each other? Are you like these little secret friends? If so, and you're building this intimacy, this emotional intimacy, the problem is I doubt that you're repeating this at home. So what you're giving to your new friend, chances are you're not giving back to your home partner. That's another sign that you are having an affair. The third part of it is chemistry. Whether you're having sex or not, there's often this chemistry that's happening, this perhaps desire to have sex that you then push down, or you may be even making love to your partner thinking about this person, that there's this desire there whether you act on it or not. If you can say yes to these three things, or even two of these things, you're having an affair. How is an emotional affair different from a platonic friendship? There's a big difference between a platonic friendship with someone of the opposite sex and having an emotional affair. Basically, if it's a platonic friendship, your partner can be part of it. They're not excluded. There's no secrets. You are very open about when you see the person, when, what you talk about, and actually your partner can join any time. In fact, let's bring this friend into our relationship. An emotional affair has a lot more exclusion, a lot more secretiveness, a lot more just between you and that person with your spouse not being part of it. That's a major difference. A platonic friendship is that. It's an open friendship that everyone's open to know about. An emotional affair is the opposite. There's secretiveness, there's a bonding that's happening, and there's exclusion. How can I turn my emotional affair into a platonic friendship? Let's say you've met somebody. You're married, you're both married, and you're, you are developing a friendship that you realize is going deeper and deeper and deeper into an emotional affair or maybe even a sexual one. How do you nip it in the bud and turn it into a friendship? One, you got to take it out of the secret and make, bring it into the light. You've got to have your partner be part of it. Both of you also, you and your new friend or you and your friend, also have to agree this is what you both want and be really clean about it. And you've got to bring your new friend home because it's about taking it out of the dark and out of the secret and into the light where it is accepted in your life. But most importantly, you've got to be clean. Can you be a friend with this person?